people think that influencers were like born perfect or were born with flawless looks or that they're some kind of good looking superhuman demigods. If this is you, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but that is not how it is. Influencers are nothing special. They are not a superior class of human being. They are just like you. They're just regular people at the end of the day. Before we get into it, I have to say a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, Kenzie. I have used and worked with Kenzie for maybe over a year now, maybe even coming up to two years. Even my friends in real life, like Steph does the Kenzie machine, actually work and yes my friends it does work if you are consistent and you use it how it's instructed to be used. Hair on the body for women is perfectly natural, perfectly normal, perfectly beautiful. Don't feel like you have to look like a sphinx if you don't want to. Now for me personally, I actually don't really mind having hair on my legs or hair on my underarms, but what irritates me is hair on my bikini line. And if you guys have ever attempted to shave your foof or your bikini line, it is so uncomfortable. Like I'm sure you will know when it grows back, it is so itchy. The area is so irritated. It is so unpleasant. And I quite frankly, will not put myself through that. So the way the Kenzie IPL machine works is that it uses intense pulsed light. That's what IPL stands for. It's a broad spectrum light that essentially destroys the hair follicle, which means that the hair either won't grow back at all or it'll grow back far sparser and far thinner than it did originally. And as I was editing this video, Kenzie shared some really exciting news. They are currently running an exclusive launch of their ICE IPL device, which is even better than their current model. With FDA approval, the new ICE IPL device also has a cooling plate that helps your skin by cooling it immediately after the flash, which reduces redness and potential irritation. This awesome device also has 30 years of flashes more than the current model. And with my discount code, which I'll share in a second with you guys, you can get $50 off the new ICE IPL handset. Now there are professional salons and clinics that offer IPL, but it is very expensive to do. You have to do multiple rounds, so you have to keep going back, keep paying the money, and it's not exactly private. Like I personally don't really feel comfortable getting my foof out in front of some random stranger in like a salon to get IPL done on that area. I would much prefer to do it myself at home in the privacy of my own bedroom. So all you have to do with your Kenzie handset is plug it into the wall. There is a green flashing light button at the back of your Kenzie handset. All you have to do is press that and it will turn the device on. You can also press this button to increase or lower the IPL intensity so the strength of it is completely up to you. It does also have a glide mode so if you just press and hold this front button for five seconds it'll turn it to automatic flashing and then you don't even have to press the button like this is just so easy guys. You can use your Kenzie handset on your underarms, your legs, your arms, chin, upper lip. Just be careful on your face. Make sure you don't shine it in your eyes but that's just common sense. Now as with most IPL treatments you'll start seeing some results in about two weeks but to see the full results Results, you need to use it consistently and then you will see full results in about 12 weeks. Your Kenzie handset comes with a skin tone chart guide, 12 month warranty and a 90 day money back guarantee. also hate shaving and waxing and you're keen to try out something new, I will put a link to check it out in the description box down below. And Kenzie have also offered you guys a discount code, which is actually quite substantial. So if you use the code SLG50, it'll get you $50 off. Okay, guys, let's start off with the beautiful and massive influencer, Amreezy. If you guys are in the makeup world, or even if you're not, you may have heard of Amreezy before. She is huge on Instagram. She has 5.7 million followers. As you can see from the pictures that Amreezy posts to her Instagram, she is like flawless perfection on a whole other level. Like this woman does not have pores. She doesn't have pimples. She doesn't have wrinkles. She's just like a doll in human form. Like look at these pictures, guys. She is like a dark haired bug. She is glamour personified. I feel like she fits the typical Instagram influencer aesthetic perfectly. She's got the tiny nose, the big eyes, the huge pouty lips, the super prominent high cheekbones, the beautiful full hair, although she does have brown hair. Most influencers I find these days have blonde hair, but hey ho. So looking at these pictures of Amreezy, you would be forgiven for thinking that she has just always looked this way. She has always just been the picture of perfection, never had a hair out of place. That is not true, as with most human beings. Amreezy is not flawless. She is not a Barbie in real life. She's just a normal, beautiful human being. And and that is okay. That is enough. You don't have to look like Barbie dolls. Be beautiful. So these are pictures of Amreezy before she was famous. These I was able to find online. And guys, it is so hard to find pictures of famous people and influencers from before they were famous. Like I actually spent two days scouring the 
internet literally from like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. scouring the internet trying to find pictures of influencers before they were famous. Like they are so hard to find. These are the pictures of Amrezy that I was able to find from before she was famous, from before she was Amrezy the influencer. Although she's absolutely beautiful, like she's an absolutely stunning woman in these pictures, she does look different to the Amrezy that you see on Instagram now. Her nose looks to be a totally different shape. She's obviously improved her makeup skills, but hey, we all do. Like my makeup that I used to do when I was younger was shocking when I look back at it, but I liked it at the time. She did always have those beautiful full lips, although it does look like she may have tweaked them a little bit and gotten her top lip plumps just that little bit more. Looking at these pictures, it is pretty clear that she has had a pretty huge transformation. Okay, moving on to the beautiful Molly May. Molly May is a UK-based influencer and she is absolutely huge right now. She currently has 6.2 million followers on Instagram. As you can see from the pictures that she posts on her Instagram, they're all very posed, very preened, very perfect, very like influencer, aren't they? And this is no hate to Molly, by the way. I actually think she is really inspiring. She's a really hard worker and she seems like a really lovely person. So these are the pictures that Molly posts of herself on her Instagram. She looks absolutely bloody beautiful. But let's not forget guys, she is in fact a human being and human beings aren't perfect. We're not flawless. We're not made to be. And if we were, how boring would that be? Who wants to be flawless? Who wants to be perfect? Not me. Molly didn't always look like an influencer. As you can see in these pictures, before Molly was famous, before she was an influencer, she literally just looked like a normal um, human being. Like she literally looks like someone you would just see walking down the street. She looks like she could be your best friend. Looks like she could be your sister. And I gotta say, in these before pictures, Molly looks so cute. Like she is such a gorgeous looking human being. Like she's got a really kind looking face. She looks really bubbly and smiley and happy. Like she just is like enjoying her life as any young girl should be. And as you guys will probably be able to tell, influencer Molly May looks a little bit different to regular Molly May. I thought this picture was interesting because I actually remember this little segment on Love Island and as you can see like it's really easy to look really perfect in an Instagram picture when you're posing and you know your angles and you have the perfect lighting and then maybe you might just you know tweak it a little bit in Facetune and then put a nice filter over it but in real life you're not going to look the same because nobody can look like an influencer 24 7 not even influencers now moving on to Molly May's friend from Love Island Maura Higgins who is also now an influencer in her own right Maura Higgins has 3.4 million followers on Instagram so she actually almost has as many as Molly that is wild. Now, there's no denying that Mora is totally hot. Like, she's an absolute babe. In fact, she has been likened to supermodel Kendall Jenner. And look, guys, they actually, I think they look like twins. Like, they're very, very similar. However, Mora didn't actually start off looking like that. She actually naturally didn't look anything like Kendall Jenner, which is so interesting to me. So this is the Mora that you see now on TV and on Instagram, and she is absolutely beautiful. Like, there's no denying that. But this is what Mora looked like before fame before she was an influencer and as you can see it's a pretty big transformation here and it's a running theme when it comes to influencers is that they looked very different like they looked very very normal shall we say before they were famous before they were influencers and it just goes back to that theme that influencers apparently have to look a certain way they all have to fit this mold but it's like when is that mold gonna get boring? When are we gonna start appreciating like individual quirks and individual characteristics again? Because like we weren't all born to look the exact same. So this is what Mora looks like pre-fame, pre-Instagram influencer days. In these pictures, she's literally modeling. So she was already a model. She was already beautiful. Just had much thinner lips pre-fame. And I actually think they really suited her. Like big lips aren't for everyone. Big lips don't suit everyone. Why does everyone feel like they need to have big lips. So I'm going to leave this video here guys before it gets too long, but I want this video to remind you, if you think that Instagram influences these absolutely beautiful, perfect, flawless looking women you see on the internet, if you believe that that is actually what they look like in real life and have always looked like and that they are some supreme level of superhuman that you could never reach, it's not the case. They're absolutely beautiful, they're successful, they're stunning, I'm sure they're absolutely lovely people. But that, that's just it. They're just people. They're no better or worse than you. So please don't ever compare yourself to them because you are just as beautiful and worthy as they are. Love your guts, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.